Hey, this is Marianne with Pitt Street Brewing Company, and you're watching the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. That's right. This is the East Daily Download. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. Oh, there's a stool right here. Today we have, as I have asked all week, gone outside. Every time you throw it, it goes back upside down. I don't know why that is. Anyway, we are outside right now. Uh, Studio E is behind us. The woods are behind us. Well, Studio E is ahead of us. The woods are behind us. And we are right here in the middle, right where we want to be with you, because we're having a great day outside to get, oh, I'm not even going to try to pick that up. That was a beach ball that did not make it. Anyway, we have a big show in store for you today. The weather's great, so get outside. At least the weather, the weather is great while we're shooting this, filming this. It might not be great when it airs, because it, yeah, but anyway. Uh, why don't we check this first story out? And then um, we will be back here outside on the East Daily Download. There we go. San Cava and Tea Bar is a new business in the uptown community. Focusing on tea and cava is bringing a new culture to town. My name is Mike Wallace, owner of San Cava and Tea Bar. Well, we have a lot of coffee bars. And I love coffee, and I love the craft of coffee as well. But I also was raised by my grandparents, and my grandparents taught me a lot of benefits of tea. Tea has the ability to give you the same caffeine level as coffee, but also plenty of vitamins and plenty of different just essential oils that come out of the natural herbs that we place into it. We do mostly herbal tea, and anything that the body needs, pretty much you can find it in the plant. And that's how we pretty much craft our teas. If you research the culture, I mean, just from Taiwan to China to, like I said, the Samoan Islands and to Fiji to the UK, everybody has really kind of grasped, you know, tea, whether it be your Earl Grey or herbal, but everybody has noticed the benefits of tea. And I feel like maybe I can bring all that here a little bit. Kava is a traditional South Pacific Island plant. It's prepared by soaking its roots and stems in water and then extracting the liquid that's produced. It's said to temporarily help with stress relief and anxiety, and it's also known to help you focus. There's a lot of illnesses that I would think African Americans deal with at a higher ratio than any other culture or any other race or any other group. So some of our things are actually to aid that as well. Me being a black man myself and my co-owner being a black man himself, we like to kind of bring a new shine to what we can do. Inspired by his grandparents and holistic health routines, San Cava and Tea Bar is located in Uptown. If you want to get connected with the bar, visit our website at wnct.com and click on the download tab. I'm Anissa Sakile with the East Daily Download. If you haven't been watching Not On Your Side Morning Edition, take a look at what you've been missing. Do you know who Alice Hannibal is? Well, after these artists are done, they hope you'll ask. In fact, they hope every person that drives past this explosion of color will recognize their silent hero. Alice didn't stay in her lane, no. <laughs> Alice made her lane. Leaders in Winterville tell me they encourage people to get their vaccinations and they hope to have more clinics in the future. I would encourage people to do what needs to be done, to be safe. We want you, we want you well. Officials are looking at improving flood hazard risk and recovery efforts. This process will provide the framework to help us avoid future hazards. What a precious looking dog there with a little boop on the nose. <laughs> One cat cried for help, but turned around and saved itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, so neither of us have clearly seen this video before this show started. Don't miss another minute of Morning Edition, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. 
Follow the East Daily Download on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Use the hashtag East Daily Download. Hey, welcome back to the East Daily Download, checking out the Storm Team 9 mobile app because it gives us a forecast as accurate as possible to where we are right here outside of Studio E. I said, I did say outside, didn't I? Yes, I guess I did. That's on me. I said it a second time right there, but she didn't even pick up on that and throw anything. It's not bad. Anyway, we are uh, having a big show. We decided to take it outside. Oh dear. And we're saying that word all week long and stuff is being thrown at me when outdoorsy thing. That was a nice smooth sail right there. That was a good one. Anyway, as I was trying to say, we're doing the show here and um, we'll do it here for the rest of the day just to enjoy the weather get the sunglasses on, a little sunshine, it feels nice. You know, it was kind of a, the winter was, let's say, it wasn't necessarily the coldest, but it was rainy and drizzly and dreary a lot. This is nice. There is one drawback though. Uh, I don't see any here, that's good, which is the pollen from all these trees behind me. So uh, my eyes have been watery, sneezing a bit, like many of you I'm sure at home have been doing. But it's worth it to be outside. Whoa. I'm not even sure what that was. There we go. Why don't you try that again? Outside. I'll just say that one more. Okay. There we go. Why don't we check out this next story? We'll see you back here in a little bit on the East Daily Download. Now downloading 9 on Your Side News. The Pitt Community College softball team opened their 2021 season with something to prove. Not being able to play during the, uh, the fall season, I think the girls, you know, it kind of left like a bittersweet memory uh, in their head from going from last year. They stepped onto the field uh, this year and they kind of just picked off where they started. Following a shortened season due to COVID, the Bulldogs are picking up right where they left off. You know, my expectation for this group was very high just because, you know, I pretty much had the whole team back uh, last year. The ladies are ranked 18th in the country with a 23 and 3 overall record and a perfect 12 and 0 in conference. Something sophomore second baseman Alexis Phillips believes is all because of the team's chemistry. I think it like helps out a lot. I mean, chemistry is very, very well. I mean, if you don't have chemistry as a team, I feel like you probably won't play at your full potential anyway. This is this is my family. This year, the goal has not changed. Eyes are still locked on the postseason. What we took from last year going into this year is like, don't take anything for granted. I mean, we got short. I mean, we want to come and prove something. I mean, we want to go to that tournament and win. With the end of the regular season nearing, head coach Cassie Harrell says she's pleased with her team and how far they've come. To learn more about the Bulldogs 2021 season and what lies ahead, head over to the online originals page on WNCT.com. In Winterville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 9 on your side.
Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download Special Outdoor Edition, Outside Edition. Nice one. Whoa, whoa. I, uh, Lauren is getting really good with these nice smooth throws. You should uh, go to the uh, disc golf range and practice a little bit later. And that's one great outdoor activity you can do when the weather is nice. That did not work at all. She tried to kick a beach ball, but it did not go anywhere. Anyway, we're just trying to really emphasize being outdoors, outdoor activities. I don't even know what that was. She threw the football and went right in the ground. We're trying to really kind of emphasize getting out, enjoying it. If you have a greenway, you can walk. If you can get on your bicycle, if you can take a stroll through the neighborhood, get your roller skates or roller blades on and you know, skate around the area. Uh, whatever you can do just to get out and enjoy being outside and uh, okay we're good with all that said I've done my public service announcement for the great outdoors and uh, I will say why don't we check out this next story and then uh, we'll wrap things up I'm Anna Dixon and I teach aerial yoga at Purple Blossom Yoga Studio as well as pranayama and breath work. And today I'm going to share a few tips um, for you from the system of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is a sister science of yoga um, and it has many beautiful tips for how to live a happy and blissful life throughout the year. Um, so the channels in our body, the circulatory channels, shrink. And what that does is it traps inflammation inside of the body. So you can have increased discomfort, you can have increased soreness, uh, it can also increase your appetite and you can start craving heavier sweet foods this time of year. Um, so here are three tips um, to kind of help you manage this season for vibrant health. Um, first of all, if you have a yoga practice, this is a time to really crank up the heat. Uh, take on a more vigorous practice within your therapeutic zone. Um, and if you're exercising, you can increase the intensity there. Now, if you're not exercising right now, this is the time to get up and start. Um, take some online classes at Purple Blossom. Even just walk around your house, walk around the block. Take moments to yawn, stretch, reach. Um, and get that blood moving to help to dilate the circulatory channels. Um, number two, to help with the craving of sweets. So we're craving sweets. We're wanting more deeply nourishing foods, but we tend to eat food right now that is really clogging and hard to digest. And what that does is actually increases the, the inflammation in our bodies. So this is one of my favorite ways to start the day. It's really delicious. Um, it's a steamed apple. So what you do is you peel the apple and you cut it in cubes and then you steam it with a little bit of water in the pot. Um, the magic here is adding one to two cloves. Now cloves, they've learned, has some of the highest antioxidant properties of any food on this planet. And cloves help to open the channels without overheating them. It's a very unique um, spice. Um, so steam that and if you eat that first thing in the morning as kind of like a pre-breakfast, what that does is it feeds the digestive fire um, and gets it going. It's so delicious um, and it's a form of nourishment that's really easy to digest. So you get that sweet, you satisfy that sweet, but you don't clog your body. You help it get going. And then the third thing that you can do this time of year um, is what I call a hot water sip. Um, so just sipping hot water throughout the day, starting in the morning and ending by sunset around 6 p.m. Um, and if you want to amp the wellness, amp up the wellness effects, just add like half a, a lime or lemon, the juice of that in that water. And, and you can bring the water to boiling um, and then add that lemon or lime and put it in like a stainless steel thermos that you sip throughout the day. That's the easy version. And what this does is it helps to dilate the channels inside um, so that that inflama inflammation can move. Um, it's very anti-inflammatory um, and it's also very gently detoxifying as well. If you're wanting um, uh, the next level of a hot water sip, you can make a tea that's six parts coriander, four parts fennel to one part cumin and add like a teaspoon of that in your hot water. 
Um, but I'm sure out of all of these tips, there's at least one that you feel like you can do this time of year and just notice how it changes how you feel throughout the day. And for more tips like these, um, please check out the uh, Purple Blossom Yoga Studio app um, or check the website and uh, join an online class, come to the studio, um, we'd love to see you. May 11th is opening day at Granger Stadium as the Woodies take on the Carolina Mudcats. Gates are going to open at 6 and first pitch is at 7. Make sure to get your tickets soon. What are online originals? Local stories, local documentaries, special features, behind the scenes, everything you need at your fingertips. WNCT.com online originals. Well, that's going to do it for this episode from the great outside. And uh, we've been happy to bring the show outdoors, get a little bit of sunlight. Yeah, that was, you're getting closer. Just kind of take in the sunshine to enjoy the weather. Don't forget the Storm Team 9 mobile app is a great resource for that. Or the WNCT 9 on your side mobile app. That's another great one because it has weather there as well. And you can also watch the East Daily Download on that app, as well as download. Uh, there's a download tab on WNCT.com. It's another great place. And we do appreciate you all for watching, however you are choosing to do it. And today we want to say a big thank you to another super fan, Loretta Vick. Thank you for tuning in and watching. We really appreciate it. We know you have a lot of options. And the fact that you chose the East Daily Download on any of those platforms means the world to us. So. I'm going to go out and enjoy a little bit of this weather outside. 
So you have yourself a great day and get outside. Oh, that didn't work out quite right. But we'll see you here on the next episode of the East Daily Download tomorrow. And tomorrow is the end of the week, which means party outside. Friday on the East Daily Download. We'll have a Fashion Friday coming your way. Plus, we'll have an interview and performances with musician Holden Dixon. That's Friday here on the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.